I get so giddy when I've got a great island to share with you. And maybe not even great, because this one is phenomenal. Welcome to Arvin's Island of Bobaton. It is modeled after Hollywood and Los Angeles. And as someone who has lived in Los Angeles, this is so freaking cool. It focuses on movie sets, and you're going to be blown away. Look at that map. Take a look at how intricate and detailed this map is. And Arvin's Island, zero time travel. None. So this is as legit as it gets. Make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoy these tours. And show some love to Arvin's Island if you like it in the comments down below. Welcome to Bobaton. Obviously referencing little Harry Potter love. He left some gifts for us. I love when people do this. It's so kind. It's so not necessary. You don't have to. But it's so freaking cool to have presents when I show up. I, and I always drop them. I forget that presents have to be open. I need that quality live update where you just like hit open. Hit like the left trigger and it just opens. A wrestler uniform. Nifty, nice. And a golden dung beetle. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Getting ready for the show. This island tour is about to be insane. It's a combination of city and nature. Much like Hollywood and Los Angeles. We start with a hybrid garden. I am not going to run on the flowers, so help me goodness gracious. Otherwise, I'll be cut from the movie. Um, I never was interested in acting or music or really anything artsy like that. Shout out to those of you who pursue that. It takes so much effort and so much work and so much confidence and bravery. I know people are crazy about that in LA. I would constantly see people lining up to submit their resume or just get a shot or whatever. Uh, and uh, I guess as tribute to that, we have a drum set with a tip me sign for people to donate to those just trying to work their magic and show off their skills. A little outdoor gym to start things off. And an outdoor beach as well, hanging out over here with some playground equipment. A little simple at the start here, but a nice little grill fireside area for the beach houses on the island. We got Sheldon over here in his house and a kangaroo carrying her little Joey. I always thought that was so funny that the kangaroo's baby's name is Joey. Basketball and protein powder because uh, these people take beach life serious. And trust me, a lot of them do down there at the Santa Monica Pier. I used to live in Santa Monica. I also lived in Temecula, California, and I lived in Pasadena, California. So I've been there three separate times. I'm drawn to that place, but it's very expensive and also a little crazy. Great little touches make this island special. Yes, the movie sets are going to be the star of the show, literally, but it's things like this that I love little sitting area to check on this fountain. How fancy and nice. And you got a statue up above paying tribute to the star fragments that have been siphoned off of this island. A were open sign leads us to a secret portion of the island that we're going to check out later. But I'm going to take you the way that I was taken through because it made a lot of sense. This island was crafted with a plan, with a path, and with a purpose. And I love that. We've got an island overview deck that kind of highlights the, uh, the hills be behind and beneath. You know, when I would drive from Pasadena to the city of LA, you would go over these highways where you just get to see like vast uh, swaths of the city. And when I go hiking up in the mountains, you could just look out. And that was one of my favorite things. Like, yes, the smog is gross. Yes, the traffic is insane. But from far above, it can be pretty beautiful. So I love that this island pays tribute to just that. All right, the overview deck, a really nice spot. And you can start to see a hint of the movie sets. I'm going to try to get you guys over there quickly. There is a lot to love about this island and a lot to see. We'll pass back by the Abel sisters. The front, uh, I would say, is the simplest spot. Um, he does have quite a bit over here, including a little light installation that is supposed to be reminiscent of the, uh, I believe it's the MoMA, the, the Museum of Modern Arts in LA, um, which is pretty freaking nifty. And if you're from Southern California, you'll probably understand what uh, Arvin is talking about some more terraforming and some waterfalls. Um, his house is actually pretty nice too. I don't know if we'll have time to even see it today because there's honestly so much to go through. There it is. Oh, we're getting close, guys and girls. We're getting close. A little tribute to Nemo and Dory here. Obviously a Disney fan. Big out there in Anaheim and LA in general. A picnic area and a campsite. I gotta start getting ideas for campsites because mine is so poor on my center island. I'm gonna make it better though. A little golden uh, area to sit and eat by the beach. A lot of picnic lunches and uh, plans to be had at the beach. Maybe not anymore, given social distancing, but at one point, the beaches were covered and caked in people. I mean, pretty much all of LA and Hollywood is caked in people. And uh, at one point, we were caked in eggs. This is the Bunny Day photo shoot memory tour. 
what a, what a time. Bunny, I mean, Bunny Day was the first event, so it holds a special place in my heart because it's the first event we got to experience together in this remarkable game. Uh, there also is a VIP area back here. Again, this is all very Hollywood-esque. So you got areas for musicians, and you got areas for movie stars. You got areas for people that are, you know, the elites of Hollywood want to sit in the spa and play games and relax by the golden flowers and get a massage by the little, little what is it, like a raccoon person? I don't know if they're like raccoons or if they're beavers, maybe. Do yoga by the beach, staring off into the distance, aligning your chakras, hot yoga, billboards for that stuff everywhere. Some cherry blossoms paying tribute to that season that now they're selling for so much moolah. If you're looking for a quick way to make cash, sell your cherry blossoms or your acorns. All right, we'll get to the music side of the island soon, but this is the the amazing tour de force. This is the, the place that sets this place apart. It is the movie sets. We got Godzilla fighting a crazy robot here, and it's awesome. There's fire on the ground as this battle is about to rage. The city is falling apart. There are girders laying down. Some things are already lit up. We got, looks like military coming in, tires, and the director watching to make sure this entire battle takes place perfectly. They're, they're putting sound in. It's so freaking cool. I love that, and it doesn't stop there. One set would be cool, but it's not enough. We got a snack corner for your popcorn, your cotton candy. You're gonna need some of that for what you're about to witness. We have a freaking live theater area paying homage to Romeo and Juliet where, uh, you know, interesting acts can perform and show their stuff as these two little creatures that I can never quite place. They kind of look monkeyish, but at the same time raccoon and beaverish, but I'm not quite sure. They're there. I love this spot right here. It is a talk show area. There is Arvin himself sitting in the big chairs like Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel. They got this whole setup here. I love it. There's an audience area. There's a camera and you can do little talk shows. We've seen Gary Whitta host a show within the game. I want to get something like this set up on my island. It is fan freaking task. I'm going to take you to the upper level where we've got a tribute to Star Wars. Save me, Obi-Wan. You are my only hope. Little Mermaid right here, right? They're shooting, shooting the, uh, the turtle. You got the Little Mermaid outfit and the big clamshell up top. There's some fun, more obscure ones as well. This is a little lounge for makeup and people, their changing room, dressing room. It's got it all, right? It's got the whole nine yards of Hollywood and then some. We've got Jurassic Park, a little tribute here with the fossil. Pretty cool set. We've got Harry Potter in the back. Hermione and Ron and Harry hanging out. Probably about to go uh, watch and play Quidditch. We got some work tables here and coffee for uh, the employee, you know, and the agents who are talking behind the scenes. We've got a wonderful lineup of some of the classic outfits for Hollywood films like The Joker and Batman, Alice, Captain America, Draco, and Woody. There's even a red carpet. But before we get there, there are more movie scenes to see. Um, we've got some hats down there. Uh, littered with star bits to make things look so fancy and fresh. Um, over here, we've got Fast and the Furious, a car chase happening. I love the camera placement. You got workers manning the cameras. You have the director's chair everywhere, cameras and lights, and oh, just the, the set idea. It makes me honestly like my smile sparkles when I see this place because I love the ingenuity, the creativity, and the passion for Hollywood that is here. I mean, I love movies too, so I get it. Um, we also have, uh, I believe it's over this way. Follow these city paths, which I really like that there's city paths amongst the nature. A set for American Idol, right? The three hosts, the band, it's it's pretty freaking fun. We've got Annabelle freaking me out. I'm gonna have to do one of these here. Ooh. Not a fan of horror movies. My favorite movies of all time. I love Disney stuff. Big fan of Social Network. Creed hits a soft spot. I don't know. I like underdog stories, even though I know that movie's not phenomenal. I like the first Pirates of the Caribbean. I do not have a great list of favorite movies in terms of like they're amazing uh, but i really like stuff like shutter island movies that either make you think or that just appeal to me in a, in a personal way whether it's like my my love for sports and underdog stories or i don't know social network really i thought was phenomenal and then you know disney stuff like lion king aladdin bugs life i'm, I'm pretty simple um, and i love lately i've been loving documentaries watching mcmillions watching the last dance Watching The Wizard of Oz. I'm not one for the classics, so I don't have like a great classical list of films that I love, unfortunately. Um, but this is really cool. It's a nice one with the yellow brick road. I think it's very, very, very cool. Tin Man, Scarecrow, Dorothy. Where's the lion at? What happened to the lion? 
Ain't gonna do the lion dirty like that, my dude. Some vending machines, because I'm sure it's important to snack while you're working this darn hard. All right, let's take you up to the red carpet area, which I really like as well. There's a walk of fame, there's a red carpet, there's a meet and greet. We haven't even taken you uh, to the villager side of the island. So much in store here. It's phenomenal. All right, so you go past uh, all the classic costumes from Hollywood. You move on down to the red carpet. Strike a freaking pose, right? This is where you do your best. You get your photo taken. You show if you got the stuff to strike. I've been on the red carpet once or twice. Not like the real, like, whoa, red carpet, but for a couple events and stuff um, back when I lived in L.A. We've got a house here. And again, the house is pretty cool, but there's... Okay, I'll, I'll take you in for a brief peek. There's just so much going on this island. I didn't know if we'd have time for the house because normally... There's like a couple things over here, a couple things over there. This island has wowed me by being dense everywhere and no time travel. So a cool little uh, room of, of Oscars and awards right here. Got a beautiful floor. It looks like it's something out of National Treasure uh, or Uncharted. All the awards and, and beautiful things. I, I got to show you guys um, the bathroom is fantastic. I'm trying to remember if the bathroom is in the... the Back. Actually, there's some, you know, what? we're just going to show you the whole house. There's some really cool stuff here, and I don't want any of his work to go unappreciated. So check this stuff out. This is his bedroom. Uh, that one is actually the simplest room. So we'll, we'll give that one the, the shortest amount of time. But there's a prop room. There's a costume room. There's a really serene bathroom that after a long day of Hollywood and insanity, man, you got you to gotta take a break. Oh, I also love Dark Knight so much. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, cannot forget that. I'm hard to please. Like, I like a lot of movies a lot. I don't love a lot of movies. It's got to, like, I can tell within the first five minutes I'm going to be fully immersed. That's, like, the biggest thing. I want to be fully immersed in the film, not even realize how long has passed, not even remember my surroundings. I just want to be so zoned into the story and the characters and the dialogue and not sense that it's scripted, not sense that it's cheesy, not be pulled out by something. That's Those are the movies that I fall in love with real fast. Um, cool costumes here in this room. Nifty, nifty, nifty. There's actually a... Um, a graveyard in the house, which a little bit creepy, but apparently had to pay tribute to villagers that left or villagers that were kicked out, which is uh, a kind of a cool, maybe a bit morbid concept, but it's pretty neat. Here's the prop room hanging out. Uh, feels like it could be a prop room for The Office, my favorite TV show. That is defined. I know my favorite TV shows are The Office and Lost. Absolutely. All right. Up here is going to be that super serene bathroom. That uh, It's interesting that it's upstairs, but I love this little floor. Full little oasis puddle in the middle of the stars, the tub, the toilet, and the pond. Feeling like a pretty good place after a long day of Hollywood insanity to just chillax. So many people are moving so quick in that city. Although I think a lot of the stereotypes I didn't encounter. And maybe I just had a weird experience, but when I lived in Pasadena for a year, I didn't think it was as bad as people said. Here is the very creepy and sad... Corridor of Lost Souls. These are the villagers that have left. This kind of creeped me out. But it's also kind of cool in a way of like, they were once here and never to be forgotten literally ever. All right, let's head back out because we got more. Like I said, there's a meet and greet area that I really want to show you guys. If you're enjoying the island, give it a big thumbs up and let Arvin know what you think of his handiwork here. He says there's still some work in progress areas, which is crazy because there's so much. This is a press conference area to give speeches. Uh, this is the his version of the Hollywood sign for Boboton up here. The letters, which I thought was such a clever concept. You got the hills with flowers and statues. So luxurious. Flower garden up top. A little runway for the fashion inclined over here to strut their stuff and show off their latest designs. You've got a cafe. Uh, and, you know, it's got to be a ritzy cafe if it's in Hollywood. So everybody's, you know, dressed to the tent. And there's even a secret special blocked off VIP area to sit by the yards and enjoy a nice meal that costs way too much money as you overlook the city. But some people just love to pay for that stuff because they like to feel very exclusive. It's a thing. There are definitely those uh, encounters in L.A. We got the Walk of Fame here with the handprints and the stars. And then we got this little uh, club area for the rich and famous or those who hope to one day be rich and famous or maybe it's just cafe disco and michael scott's about to show up also gold armor rising high above i love that it's given this pedestal quite literally up above the album like oh i didn't time travel but i got the armor um, we got the museum here which is kind of fitted in to this corner as a beautiful spot um for the Walk of Fame to encircle and surround. We got another spot over here that's going to be 
pretty darn nifty. Wait a second, did I miss it? I don't want to miss the meet and greet area. Where is the meet and greet area? I almost forget where it is because there's so much stuff going on here. Oh, la, 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 la. Is this it? Here's like a, st oh here it is, yep. There's like stalls to buy stuff. People always trying to hawk things in Hollywood and sell you stuff that you don't need. The meet and greet area, line up and get autographs signed, take a photo, pretty freaking fun. I'm surprised there isn't a wax museum. I feel like that's definitely a very Hollywood-esque thing. I'll take you guys, oh wait, there's one more thing I wanna show you. Uh, his work in progress area, I have high hopes for because he is looking to build out his secret beach and based on the Hollywood style of everything else, I am certain that Red is gonna get a really red carpet welcome when he does arrive. So we've got this VIP area back here, as I showed you guys. Um, and then there's actually a secret path, which I love. Hello, Harry Potter. Harry! All right, uh, if you guys haven't ever been to the Universal Studios in Orlando, um, Hagrid's coaster is one of the best roller coasters in the world. Uh, anyhow, you got a little sofa here. I think those are gonna be money trees, he told me. Um, and then a secret beach for Red that eventually is gonna be designed and incorporated into the theme of the island, which I'm very excited for. Maybe Red can be a villain, and we can have a lot of, like, villainous type uh, memorabilia, and maybe even a scene back there as the mastermind of it all arrives in mobster style. All right, that literally, like, I'm gonna show you the map now. I didn't wanna show you the map, because sometimes I think it's fun to just, like, explore everything, but that was the, like, middle and western side of the island. He's got a pretty cool villager lineup of Bruce, who just came to mind, Melba, Sheldon, Bangle, Cleo, Sprinkle, Kit, Cole, Tammy, and O'Hare. Now, this is definitely someone who just has a very either specific list of villagers they like or just rolled with the punches, which I do respect instead of specifically hunting everybody. Although, maybe he did specifically hunt. I don't know. Um, I'm going to take you guys across the island now to the other side, um, which is more of the nature um, and, I guess, island typical side, but it's still well made and still pretty darn fun. I'm just so impressed that there's so much everywhere, even little hidden things. Like, I didn't show you this area right by the meet and greet, but a little seating spot and look at the trees and hear the water and then maybe catch a, a spare pear that falls off one of the flowering trees. We got LaBelle and Resident Services surrounded by water and we'll make our way uh, completely eastward, which we haven't really done all that much yeah, there's the Walk of Fame, so you can see how this all links up. Little seating area here with old school chairs, I like that a lot. And a lot of the villagers reside here, including some trophies, some rockets, and a band sign here for Pierce. I'm not sure why Pierce is banned, but apparently he did something really bad, and he's no longer welcome in this community. We got tanning spots and flowers, houses and pathways, bird houses, dog houses, pets, and clothing racks, as well as a giant fish, but that seems like the gaudy nature of the hills of Hollywood. There also is, oops, slowly, slowly, Zacchaeus, slowly. We got a pool on the beach um, and another opportunity to chill and have a little picnic out here for two. Um, and then in the very back, uh, there's a music area. You're gonna start to see the uh, influence of the uh, audio medium here on the island. A nice night place, a uh, nightclub type, not a club, but like a night jam session spot is how he described this to me, where acts could come and kind of uh, prove their worth with a little audience here. I love that there are four chairs set out, and we're going to start to see even more music as we move through this side of the island. So I'll carefully trapeze through there. We've got another little table and a beautiful garden that you must walk through, so this is okay with a piano for someone else to, you know, kind of in one of the parks, show what they've got. I'm going to walk around to the other side carefully to prove that I can move slowly and to prove that I want to play the piano. Right? Pretty nice. La 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 la. Street performers are obviously the thing, but also just so many people wanting to make it big. And it's such a rare thing. I mean, I, I like I said, I applaud everybody who tries to go for something and wants to be an entertainer or wants to make it big, it's it's such a rare, there's a rare chance of success, but by no means don't go for it if that's what you love. Just push and work and never give up. A viewing area for tourists to see the stars and spy on maybe some Hollywood stars of their own. Uh, and again, it's blocked off nicely so the island feels big. One thing I've learned in a lot of my island tour travels, you wanna make your island feel extra big? You use great blocking just like you would in a movie or a play. You block off certain areas so that 
it feels like it is bigger than maybe it even is. We also have this casket over here, which I don't quite understand. Like I said, a little bit of a morbid fa fascination, but you know, Hollywood, like, they do pay tribute to their celebrities who, who pass on, so I understand how it fits in with everything else here. I really want to know what Pierce did so wrong to get banned from this neighborhood, but man, I would come back again. I want to see this thing when it's, quote, finished, because he says it's not even completely done. And right now, it is one of the best islands I have ever seen. I give this thing six and a half stars for how much dedication was put in. There's even more down here, a little tiny beach, right, hanging out, watching a film, uh, maybe a projector screen, you know, a little, little band sesh by the water. It's got it all, and I love those movie sets and the homages, tributes to Fast and the Furious, Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, Batman, and more. This is just a remarkable no time travel five star island, and I got to give my hats off to Arvin. I don't even have a hat, but if I did, I would take that thing off and say, I'll take the headphones off. You know what? This one is just so sweet and so sick, and I'm so impressed. So as I play the drums i'm not asking for a tip but if you do want to like the video it does help out and if you do want to leave a comment letting arvin know that he absolutely nailed it i'm sure he would appreciate it so as i say goodbye to bo baton i say goodbye to you hope you're all having a fantastic day staying safe and staying healthy out there if you enjoyed the video well make sure to subscribe definitely turn on that notification bell so you know when the videos drop especially for those new updates probably right around the corner from another one. Join our Discord server, link in the description down below. It's a fun, safe, positive, awesome place, a burgeoning community, maybe sort of similar to Bobaton. Doesn't have as much glitz, but it does have a lot of good people, and I think you'll have a good time there. So link in the description below. Until next time, everybody, thanks again for watching. I appreciate your support and love you all so much. So until the next tour, Switch Force, out.